Hey, what is up my crazy subscribers? This is Joe King John City 4 and today people I want to talk about Battlefield 5 and some of the controversy surrounding it. And I really want to give out my opinion about this whole situation this game is in, especially since there's women in the battlefield, which is kind of insane. So first things first, I want to talk about the woman in the battlefield, which should have never happened in Battlefield 5, especially in a setting like World War II. You see, back in the day when I read in the history books and back in high school, they tell you that most of the women actually served as nurses, and also the other half was pretty much just they stayed at home to take care of the only children they had. Most of the men went out to war. The only the only army that actually had female soldiers was the one in the Russian team. So the Russian team should have white female soldiers. No blacks, no Mexican, no Chinese, no nothing. They had a bunch of white girls as freaking snipers. So um, that's how, if they want to go for historically accurate, that's, that's how it should have been. When, every time you're in the Russian team, you're going to have a female soldier to use. That's about it. You know, or, or every time you're a sniper, they'll turn into a female. You know. But instead, we got a whole damn big soup of freaking races into like thrown into a bowl, and that's how they think we we kind of depict World War II. Like that never happened, really, man. And I feel for those people who feel like offended about this game because it doesn't depict World War II correctly. It feels like a steam puck to, took over it, you know, like a bunch of punky players took over it with a bunch of blue paint in their faces with samurai swords, and you know, it was kind of weird. I saw that first trailer. The girl with the prosthetic arm in the front lines, killing people, going into the house, jumping out the window, and then I see this guy with a samurai sword, and then at the end, she hits someone with a cricket bat. I'm like, bruh. And then also, she was wearing some raggedy ass coat. That <laughs> doesn't make any sense during that era because they had uniforms, you know? So it was kind of weird seeing that trend, and I was like, this better not be World War II. Boom, World War II at the end. <laughs> I was like, man, this cannot be real, brah. They ruined the game. They ruined how historically accurate it should have been. It, to be honest, it could have been more fun if it was historically accurate, but this is how it is, man, which is super sad. And that's how they ruined the game so bad, man. Uh, to be honest, let me show you my real opinion here, guys, and hopefully you guys don't feel offended, but... This SJW movement and females in gaming should have happened since Battlefield Hardline. You see, if they would have done this female thing on Battlefield, it should have, the best time would have been Battlefield Hardline because to be honest, it was just cops versus robbers and any female can be a cop, any female can be a robber. So this female thing could have been taken care of a long time ago and the best time would have been Battlefield Hardline because anybody can be a cop, anybody can be a robber and BAM! Boom! Push that female stuff into that game and then the next Battlefield would have been more accurate along the way and then the no female would have been like I'm offended because there's no female in the game like blah blah you know with a punkish pink hair in the top like this Man, this game could have been better but sadly this is how it is guys so in my opinion, this could have happened since Battlefield Hardline, so this SJW crap should have been taken care of a long time ago, and then we would have gotten the game that we were supposed to receive. But sadly, that didn't happen. We're like in another timeline that we got screwed over on. So um, what are you guys' opinion about that whole situation? You know, let me know in the comment section. So anyways, another thing that kind of ruined this game was actually the tweet this one guy left, and it was from the staff from the EA department team. The guy said, if you don't like it, don't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bruh, he just repeated the same guy who said, um, deal with it. If you guys didn't know, back in the, when Xbox One was announced, it had, like, these kinds of features that kind of, like, limit the time you were supposed to be off your Xbox, and it created a lot of controversy. And this one guy from the Xbox team said, like, deal with it. Like, if you don't have money, then don't buy Xbox, you know, like he's he's kind of making it seem like he has a lot of money to spend and, you know, he's he seems like a rich guy. So he's like, like he's like belittling everybody out there who doesn't have any money. Like, bro, you can't do that. You can't pull out that kind of stunt. The guy ended up getting fired and he's no longer with the Microsoft team. So now we see it with this guy from EA do the same thing and look what happened. He created a lot of backlash and now they're down by 85% pre-orders against Black Ops 4. For freak's sakes, man. So, um, so everybody's going along with that tweet too. I've been seeing a lot of comments saying like, well, this guy told us not to buy it, so we're not going to buy it. <laughs> you know? So that's why there's a lot of low pre-order numbers, which is kind of ridiculous, really. I was expecting Battlefield to really beat Black Ops 4 this year, but apparently not. But still, though, I'm not going to buy Black Ops 4 anyways. You know, I'm not... I'm done with Call of Duty. So, uh, anyways, that's my opinion about this game, bro. It's like... 
This female stuff should have happened a long time ago during Battlefield Hardline, which should have been the best time to do this kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, the, that tweet kind of ruined this game, too, so badly. Um, also, I do have an opinion about Angry Joe's show. The guy is an ignorant. He really is. I was a big fan of him a long time ago, but he is super ignorant lately. And I'm sorry about that freaking car horn, man. My neighbor's just stupid. <laughs> so, whoever reaches to this time of the video. But anyways, yeah, man. His Angry Joe show is just stupid. I don't know. I used to be a fan of him big time a long time ago, but he's really ruining himself lately. Um, anyways, so that is it, guys. That's the end of the video. That's my opinion about this game. And um, at the end of the day, though, I'm still buying the game. Please don't hate me for that, but uh, I'm still buying Battlefield 5 because I need some kind of a first-person shooter game that's currently releasing, you know? I really want to show something current. So uh, I'm still buying the game, but I still hate the how they treated, you know, the, the, the setting with total disrespect, really. Man, I really got to get it for free somehow. <laughs> Maybe I can find it like in Craigslist or on Facebook. So that is it, guys. Leave a like on the video. Tell me your opinions in the comment section. I'll gladly read it. If you guys dislike me, then go ahead and dislike. I don't mind. So that is it. Subscribe for more. You guys want to see more videos like this.